All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha. As you know, we do this, well, I host Virtual Coffee Break every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, sorry about the transmission on Tuesday. Facebook would not let us be great, so y'all missed it. But we are going to start recording these and then I will upload it to our Team Lux Platinum group. Um, but it, you can also find it on my YouTube channel. So for those of you that are not on my team, um, therefore you're not in my team group, but you're joining us on Virtual Coffee Break, you will be able to access the recording from my YouTube channel, Lifestyle by Tanisha. And uh, Shamika will go ahead and share the link to my YouTube channel in case you do not have it. But welcome, how's everybody doing today? Happy Thursday, happy Thursday. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Did you say that Tuesday's call is on your YouTube channel? No, it will be going forward. Every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to record it. Okay, I had to drop off, so I only had the top five things, and I said, I'll catch it, and I missed it. So, yeah, so okay. the last two was uh, number six was energize and number seven was elevate. Energize and elevate. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anybody have anything we could celebrate today? Okay, you know, I'm jumping out here because I'm so excited for my team. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Michelle. <laughs> They are stepping up and hosting and facilitating PBRs, now starting to schedule more PBRs that they can handle directly. So I'm really excited about that. We've got a couple of signups scheduled. Um, so I'm, I'm loving it. They're, they're, it's coming along. They're really stepping up and, and going for their next ranks to continue leveling up. So I'm proud of them. That is awesome. Congratulations. We love seeing that duplication, right? I love it. I love it. And then that frees you up to, you know, be able to do some other things because we don't want to carry the whole team. You don't want to be the magic in your team. Because if you're the magic in your team, your legacy is going to be very weak. I have a testimony. Yeah, I have finally, I finally um, had someone in my uh, team to, well, group to, um, hit their first rank so i have my first bronze builder Ooh, congratulations and i i am super excited and so i have challenged the ones who have registered for convention to get nine so all of us can get that award so yes. they're pumped up they're excited even the ones who um not registered is even now inquiring about registering so that they can get a part be a part of that um that rank that's awesome. That's awesome. Everybody should be pushing to get that fireball award. So you have to have nine brand new ITAs and reps, and you get to walk across the stage and get the fireball award from Mr. Bradley. Who, who wouldn't want that, right? I'm still working on mine. I got a few more people I need to uh, have my nine. But everybody, that is so doable for everyone. And it started in, what, January? I think it's from like the end of January to July 9th. Everybody should be able to do that. Everybody should be, if you're working your business consistently, right? Um, but that is awesome. Anybody else have anything we could celebrate? Nothing else? I actually have something to celebrate. One of my business partners actually had their first um, travel booking. Ooh, that's good, LaShonda. Do you know what she booked and where, who was the client? Was it someone on Facebook um, or was it a family or friend? No, it was a friend. And um, she actually, it was a hotel only, but it's the fact that she's actually doing something with her business now that excites me. Right. Right, because when she gets that that check, she'll have that belief check that, oh, so booking travel does generate income. Let me keep doing exactly. that. Exactly, exactly. 
That's good. That's good. And, and, and I made sure I posted in, in my team group. So, you know, everyone else can see. Hopefully that'll get, you know, others moving and shaping also. Absolutely. Absolutely. And encourage them to, you know, get a certification with a, a particular supplier so that they can then put a group trip together with that supplier and market that. Yes, yes. Great idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Anybody else have anything we can celebrate? I do. This is Beverly. How y'all doing? Hey, how doing? Beverly. How hey. are you? Awesome. Awesome. You know, um, I've been using that peak interest card. Mm -hmm. and so I saw a lady on Monday. I was going to the gym. She was coming out. She just had that vibrant look on her face. I smiled. And someone said, go give her a card. I gave her the card. And we got a chance to talk. She uh, got on, uh-oh, uh, she saw the presentation that night mm -hmm. and she had more questions. And so after that, the presentation, what I did was because my team, you know, Bridge is a gold builder, Rhonda's a gold builder, Sharice and I are running side by side, I have access to people who can do a three-way. I said, yeah, I need a three-way. And Bridget showed up. I mean, Bridget handled every objection that lady had. And and she said, well, I might as well sign up. She signed up that night. Now, granted, I've only known this lady six hours, right? <laughs> and then we told her about the meeting. She said, oh, business meeting, in-person business meeting. She went to the meeting on Tuesday. Last night, she was on Director Scott's um, PBR uh -huh. he host. She had four guests last night, and one of them is signing up tomorrow. Woo! And I was like, it's fireball here. So just super excited, super excited. <laughs> Congratulations, Beverly. And all you did was follow the blueprint. I followed the blueprint, peaked the interest, ex you know, exposed, showed, showed the plan and three and three way. I did not, cause like when she, when we were talking, I said, wait a minute, hold on. I said, let me get a, a, one of my experts on the phone who can answer those questions for you. And not, you know, and I was just clear about that because she wanted to hear me go through the questions again. But we had already talked. She right. needed somebody besides me. Yes. And Bridget came on and nailed it. Nice. I mean, it on every end. So just super excited about what's going on. Like you said, just following the, the blueprint, following the leader. That's all I'm doing. And I remember, what, I remember what you said also. You said out of 100 people, two people would say yes immediately. Mm -hmm. I would never, ever, ever, ever mm -hmm. join your business. And the other 97 needs uh, uh, another exposure, a more right. exposure. Mm -hmm. So with that said, she was just one of those two. Yes. She was ready. And so, yeah, just excited. Yeah. I love it. Congratulations. And shout out to Bridget for slaying that three-way call. That oh. is awesome. That is awesome. But again, it's PS3. Some of y'all doing the P and the S and you ain't doing the three. And then you're wondering why you haven't hit your next promotion yet. Cause you're being stubborn and uncoachable. But we gotta the, sit there. Direct the birds. I really want to say that calls like this really should build people up uh, to do three-way calls. Um, I had a three-way call that kind of started yesterday and then finished this morning because of the timing. But overall, I had to have a strong posture as a three-way because it seems like she's a heavy hitter. Mm -hmm. And the questions that she was asking was more so like almost evidence of proof of income. Mm -hmm. And I kept saying, that's, um, I said, I'll keep my standards to where I'm not disclosing or showing checks or evidence of people's income. I said, I can show you what's reported on the income disclosure. I can show you what's on the compensation plan mm -hmm. and I can show you the blueprint mm -hmm. that you can make it. I said, but somebody else's uh, proof of somebody else's income or showing you evidence does not signify that's what you're going to earn. True. And so you really have to have a strong posture in this company. When you know that the blueprint works, it doesn't matter what other people are making. Are you following? Are you doing the things that are in place? that will allow you to earn that income because everybody starts off with the same platform. Exactly. You you nailed it, Sharice. It's like the income disclosure statement, perfect. That's exactly where you want. 
the compensation plan, we already have the documentation, right? We got three millionaires. Again, you can also refer back to the planet facts um, dot com page if they want to see the history and the growth of the company. Uh, we have the documentation. So, and you're right. It's like what you have made in the business um, does not determine what that person is going to make, right? So, no, you don't have to go showing how much you made, this, that, and the other. There may be sometimes from every now and then where you show that, but it's it's going to be very, very rare. Very, very rare. When you get like a whale that's in network marketing, you may show your back office. Because they'll say, show me your back office. They want to see it, right? But the everyday person that you're going to be prospecting for this business, refer them to the income disclosure statement um, and refer them, um, you know, just share the Planet's facts page because all of our documentation on how much we've paid out in commissions, um, both on the marketing and the travel side, it's all there. It's all there. Um, so someone had asked, what is peak interest cards? So I'm going to share my screen. When uh, my best friend, director Camette Turner and I started the business back in 2016, um, where we worked at our job, they were like always on us. So we could not like really talk to people at work the way we wanted to without getting in trouble. And so we created at that time a card um, that basically said everything so that all we had to do was go by our coworkers desk and kind of, you know, drop the card. And so started that and then I, you know, stopped using it, you know, started doing some other things. Um, but then one of our business partners came around and um, they were doing something with the QR code on the back. And I was like, oh, that's pretty smart to use the QR code on the back that can go to the big picture video um, because that's going to be something that you can use, um, you know, when you don't have a lot of time to talk to people, right? So let me show you. So we did a session here on Coffee Break um, for the QR codes and how to create a peak interest card. So let me show you, let me see. I'm looking for mine exactly. <laughs> Is it under business? Where did I put it? Business cards. I don't know why it's here, but, and this one isn't mine. So this is one that I did for uh, somebody else. So we just went in Canva, took this image from um, our Planet Marketing back office, has the logo. And, oh, we can't share my screen. Thank you. <laughs> and actually, hold on. Before I do that, let me go back. Because um, I really don't want to show. Give me one moment. I want to find my business card, actually. But I've made some for other people. Uh, let me see. You know what? I'm going to pull my brothers up. Okay, so let me share my screen. So here's an example. Um, again, we took this image, what's your plan B, right from the Planet Marketing back office. It has the logo. And we just put all the information that you would kind of want to share with someone so that they can have an idea of what it is. Um, become an entrepreneur in the $8 trillion travel industry. Earn more, travel more, save more, experience more. Create leveraged and residual income. Set your own hours, full-time, part-time. Work from anywhere in the world. Design your ideal life with time freedom, financial freedom, and personal freedom. Leave a legacy for your family. So then we have text more info. Add your picture to it. Put your name on it. And then on the back, um, through Canva, you're able to create QR codes. So this goes right to the big picture video. And so this is a great way 
for let's say you're in the drive through at Starbucks, right? You want to pique the interest of the cashier or the person handing you, right? They hand you your latte, you hand them one of these cards and you drive off because everything here is self-explanatory, right? So this, I use this card when I don't have a lot of time to speak with someone, but I still want to pique them about the business. And then I still have my black cards, but I use the planet marketing black cards when I do have the time to have a decent conversation with someone. And then after that conversation, I leave them with my planet marketing black cards. And I'll tell you, even with my planet marketing black cards, I've since added the QR code to the back of that one as well, because with the front of the card, it doesn't tell anything about what we do. So if someone is receiving a lot of business cards and they look at that one, they'll be like, okay, Tanisha Burke, Planet Marketing, what was that about? Can't tell from the front of the card, but at least on the back of the card, it'll have the QR code um, to uh, the big picture video. So that is how I use the peak interest cards. Um, anytime I go to a restaurant, sign the check. If I don't have a lot of time or didn't have a lot of interaction with the um, the server, I sign the check and leave the peak interest business card with the check. So that's another way to get it out there. Or maybe you have like in our clubhouse here, they have a bulletin board and people put business cards on there. So I have a binder clip and I have business cards, um, the peak interest business cards there. Um, and I've had people grab the card and get on my calendar for an appointment. Or maybe, you know, some restaurants or, you know, the hair supply stores. I know that's a place where they allow people to leave business cards. But anywhere where you're able to leave business cards, the peak interest business cards are the best ones to leave because it gives information um, about what the business is about. Velani? Um, would it be in compliance to have QR codes on the same of the back card, one for the video and one for the Planet Facts website? As long as it's all Planet Marketing, that's fine. Okay. Because yeah. I, um, I had gotten that tip from you from before from uh, the 40 Days and 40 Nights. Um, and so I actually had printed off some uh, address labels and have been adding those to um, my black cards. Good. That's good. Yep. You can do that. Good. Anybody else? Uh, let me see. Let me check the chat. So Zara, does that answer your question? You have any questions about it? Uh, no, um, that was that was good. Thank you. Uh, well, one, okay. She just asked. Velanie just asked about the putting the the website. So, like on the front of the card, would I also like would I put www.planetfacts.com? No, you don't need to do that. You, because Velani, you were talking about the black cards, right? Or are you talking about the peak interest cards? Right. So I actually, um, yeah. So I've been putting it on the back of my um, black planet cards that mm -hmm. already have like my planet website and. Uh, yeah, the I website's have, already on the front. Right. So you're saying on the back, you're gonna have one QR code that goes to the big picture and another one that goes to the planet facts page. Is that that's what you were saying, right? Yes, correct. And yeah. I do have pink and in peak interest cards um, that I've created on Canva. Mm -hmm. I just haven't um, ordered any of them yet. So I've okay. just been doing them on the back of my black cards. Okay. So Zara, does that make sense to you? Yes, that makes sense. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Christina says she had her first three way and a person is going to sign up in June. Congratulations, Christina. That's awesome. Now, June is a long ways away. Where does this person live, Christina? If you don't keep them engaged between now and June, the sign up is not going to happen in June. She said they live in Texas. All right. Get them to either the Dallas or the Houston meeting. Friend of 20 years. Okay, that's fine. Or San Antonio. San Anto There's one in San Antonio too sometimes. Okay, so get them to one of the Texas in-person meetings between now and then. Um, because every day that goes by where the person doesn't sign up, the interest uh, 
you know, goes away. So pick her up, say, I'm picking you up. We're going to the meeting together and bring a friend. Um, because if her friend comes and the friend is interested, now that's going to push her to sign up sooner than later because she doesn't want it. She won't want to miss out on that. But that's awesome. Congratulations. All right. Let's see. And thank you. Shamika posted the link to the Planet Facts page in the chat. So go ahead and grab that bookmark it. Uh, yes. Oh, good. Sharice says she'll be at the one in Dallas. That's awesome. That's awesome. So any any questions about the peak interest business cards? Denise, I have a question. Yes. So good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Sandra. <laughs> hey. So my supposed to be three-way call went ghost on me mm -hmm. just as we were going to have a call with Andrew. I followed up with him. He never got back to me. So I guess should I just leave it alone or follow up with him again another day? Because I, I did ask him, hey, are you available another time? But he never answered. So anytime I have a three-way call scheduled and the person ghost doesn't respond, I just shoot him a text and I say, hey, just tried to reach you for the appointment that you set <laughs> to discuss the travel right. business. Um, if you're available within the next five minutes, uh, you know, give me a call. If not, um, and you're still interested, you can reschedule and here's the link to my calendar. Okay. And I keep it moving. Have strong posture. We ain't begging them. You know, we're, mm -hmm. we're kind of uh, nice, nasty saying, you know, you scheduled this. Right. You didn't okay. show up. Uh, the other thing, let me say this. So uh, I, I did tweak that message. I almost forgot. I'll say, is everything okay? Because an emergency could have happened. They could have been in a car accident. So I don't want to seem, uh, you know, what's the word? I don't want to seem insensitive. Like insensitive that an emergency could have happened. Say, hey, hope everything is okay. I just tried to reach you for the appointment that you scheduled to discuss the travel business. If you're available within the next five minutes, call me back. Um, if not, and you're still interested in this opportunity, here's my calendar link to reschedule. Right, okay. And that's it. Keep it moving. Still Got keep it. them on your list, but we're not gonna beg people, right? And we're letting right. them know that we're professionals and we do business. The other thing that I always do if someone ghosts me for the three-way call, I make sure I announce a new business partner that day. That day. There is an understanding within Team Lux Platinum, my organization, right? If Zeta enrolls a new business partner today, isn't that, um, you know, Andrew's new business partner too? Isn't that Kim's new business partner? Isn't that Debbie's new? That's all of our new business partners, right? So I can take that announcement that Zeta did in our team group and I'm going to copy and paste it on my personal page and I'm going to shout the person out. Congratulations to our newest business partner, Michelle Smith, right? Mom, wife, three children. She's an accountant for the last 15 years. She decided to join a bit, whatever her bio is. Right. I, I like to just do in her words and then just put everything else in quotes. And then at the end, um, you know, let's say Michelle says, you know, she joined the business because she wanted to be a leg to leave a legacy for her two daughters and show them the world. So then I'm going to do the, a call to action. If you would like to leave a legacy for your family and live a travel lifestyle, click this link to schedule an appointment for more information or private message me. That's how I do it. And I'm gonna do it that same day that that person ghosted me. Why? Because that gives me posture, that, that shows them, I'm not sitting around waiting for you. People are joining the business. You the one that's missing out. So get in the habit of, of doing that. Um, you should be sharing or announcing or shouting out new business partners two to three times a week. 
because you want to show the people who haven't joined you, the people who haven't said yes, the people that are on the fence, the people who have made a commitment but haven't honored their commitment yet, that this train is moving without you. I'm not sitting around hoping and praying that you decide to partner with me. I'm keeping it moving. And that really convicts some people and makes them say, you know what, I don't want to, you know, I ghosted Michelle and, you know, didn't show up for that call, right? So they don't say anything, but then they see Michelle announce a new business partner. They're going to be like, oh, wow. Wow. Maybe I should have gotten on that call. And then you'll get a random text message. Oh, I'm so sorry. I missed our appointment. I had a family emergency and I meant to text you, but I didn't. Do you have some time where we could get to? It happens, I'm telling you. The other thing is you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. When that person is ready, they will hunt you down. I had my most recent business partner wanted to join sign up i was on a cruise she waited until i got off the cruise because she was ready and she knew exactly who she wanted to partner with she had somebody else's link almost signed up with them and something just convicted her and she's like nope i'm gonna wait for tanisha to get off this cruise that's who i want to partner with so you cannot say the wrong thing to the right person Yeah, but definitely if you're not announcing new business partners or you haven't announced one this week, do it today. Thursdays are definitely a day you want to announce new business partners. Who who wants to guess why Thursday is a good day? Go ahead. Friday's a payday. There you go. <laughs> Friday's payday. Friday's payday. Yeah, so if you could get them exposed and closed today, they're going to be like, I'll, I'm signing up tomorrow. Thursdays are great days to do that. Another great day to announce a new business partner is on a Monday. Anybody want to take a guess why Mondays are a good day to shout out a new business partner? Because Nobody people are back at work, work and don't want to be there. <laughs> That's it. That's it. A lot of people hate Mondays. They're dreading going to their job and sitting in traffic. And so if they wake up, well, when they wake up, the first thing people do is grab their phone and go to the bathroom. Don't lie. Y'all all do it. We all do it. Who the, who here, by show of hands, does not take your phone in the bathroom with you? There might be one. Use a lie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was muted. <laughs> uh, Benita says she doesn't. Anybody else not do it, Rochelle? You don't? Y'all are weird. Y'all are the exception, not the rule. <laughs> You're not weird, but you are the exception, not the rule. Most we, people, we're nerds. Would you say? We are nerds, that's all. Oh, uh, you're nerds, okay. Most people, when they get up in the morning, the first thing they do, well, guys are a little different because y'all got to hold stuff, but we as women grab the phone, sit down, and we're scrolling through Facebook, checking our calendar, what we got going on. Because as a woman, Sometimes, especially if you as a mom, sometimes that is the only piece you get is when you're in the bathroom. <laughs> that and if but if you stay too long, the kids will bother you there too. But it's that few minutes um, in the morning, you know, that you have to yourself. So if you get your if you shout out a brand new business partner first thing in the morning, guess what? That person is gonna see it early that person going to work monday morning that don't want to go to work they hate mondays they hate their job they hate the traffic and here you're announcing a new business partner with a call of action and then that's going to open them up to say you know what let me let me reach out because i don't Tanisha, don't forget the 15th either because a lot of people get paid on the 15th sure. and the 31st yes yes, yes. absolutely yes uh, the 15th and the 31st, um, especially in teachers, some teachers only get paid once a month. Um, I don't know what day that is. It might be either the 15th or the 31st, not sure. It might vary from county to county. Um, but definitely Mondays, Thursdays, and I would pick a day during the weekend, either a Saturday or Sunday, either one. 
but work that into your daily method of operation to be able to announce new business partners. I'm telling you, it makes a difference. So imagine you're announcing new business partners. And then on top of that, you just uh, updated your cover with the 91,000 banner. You know how powerful that, how, who on here has not up, updated their cover on their personal Facebook page with the 91,000 banner? I posted it, but I didn't put it as my cover, but I will change that today. Same. I yeah, same. highly, highly recommend anytime Planet Marketing puts a banner out, change your cover for at least 48 to 72 hours. You ain't got to keep it there. Matter of fact, I recommend that you don't keep it there. 48, 72 hours, and then do a post about it. So don't just change your cover, do a post about it. Um, you know, celebrating the 91,000 again with a call to action, inviting people to come take a look at this business opportunity. You don't want them to miss it. Tanisha, you know what? I put it on my um my next door. Mm -hmm. No one has commented on my comments that I put on next door, my post, but the amount of people that have viewed my post or next door one was 450 another one was 279 mm -hmm. so people are looking yes They're yes yep and, <laughs> and so go ahead sandra eventually they will say something eventually they will reach out i put my calendar on there as well mm -hmm. so hopefully i'll get some responses soon right the other thing so with next door um, for those of you who don't know, Nextdoor is an app that allows you to connect with your neighbors, the different communities. And honestly, I've been working that a little bit more as well because everyone should be doing weekly PBRs. Yep, you should be doing a PBR every week at your house to invite your friends, your families to come and see the business opportunity. So imagine Sandra, you do a weekly PBR on, you know, every Thursday night and it's just a plug and play. Invite people, don't have all that food like you had when I came, right? Just keep it simple, have some water, right? And then you just, you know, introduce yourself, share why you started the business play the big picture video and then you know you can have me or andrew zoom in to answer everybody's questions at the end so imagine putting out on next door right with your neighbors that you're having a pbr i have a question tanisha yes um could would it be okay maybe to possibly do it like at a local library instead absolutely. of your home yeah okay yeah. okay yeah absolutely Thank Somewhere you. Public, you know, a back room. Um, if you're gonna do strangers, you may not want them in your house. My my situation in my house is a little different. And my everybody in my community, we it's not that we know each other, but I'm I'm just not nervous about my neighbors coming to my house. I have a big dog and I have a Glock three. So I don't worry about stuff like that. And I got a husband, right? Um, so that's different, but yeah. Find, um, you know, it could be at, you meet up at, um, what's, what's that place? Uh, Panera. Panera Bread. Yeah, Thank Panera. You. <laughs> right. You meet up at Panera. They have a little room or whatever, or you have a little section, the library, if you have a clubhouse, any, any of those like public spaces where, um, you can, and you don't, it doesn't have to be that they have a TV, just bring your laptop. And you could be meeting with two or three people at a table over coffee and just sharing the business with the strangers in your community. But you should still have a weekly PBR at your house for the people that you know, for your warm market, right? Your coworkers, your family members, your friends. Okay, definitely wanna do that. Any questions about that? But yeah, next the next door app, is a great app so that you can meet new business part, not meet new people locally to expand your network. Because remember your network is your net worth. 
I was actually on next door. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, just to kind of give you a scenario. Let me see here. Um, and okay, so let me show you what the next door app looks like. So go to your apps, go to your app store, click tap it, type in next door, download it, fill in all your information where you live, and it's going to show you all the people in the area. And it's a great, um, you know, everybody shares a lot of different information on here. Some people selling stuff, if there's a lost dog, if there's an accident, people who have businesses, they post their businesses or services that they offer great great thing so i had one young lady uh here we go miss amira right so we connected on here i waved at her she waved at me and she lives in providence so she actually um let me show you she actually lives in my neighborhood that's the name of my community right so and she just moved here she just moved here. So we had a conversation. Uh, she said, hi, nice to meet you. Just moved into the area in February. I'm trying to connect with more of us. And I said, welcome, there's lots of us here. Where did you move from? I moved from Brevard County in 2021. However, I was born and raised in New York. She said she was in Lake Mary and she's been in Florida since 2017, but she's from Delaware and her husband's from the south side of Chicago. She says, yes, I need friends. I'm trying to come out of my shell. I said, let's meet up for breakfast or lunch one day. What's your work schedule? And I gave her my cell phone number and gave her the link to my Facebook page. She says, yes, I'm down. I'm home right now on WC. So I technically don't have one. Uh, she gave me her number and uh, we're gonna connect on Facebook. I'm gonna make a new friend and then I'm a peek her and she's gonna be my business partner. Mr. Burke. Yeah, question. How long would you um, build rapport with her before you peeked? Until I find out what the need is. Once I find out what your need is, what the hurt is, what the problem is, what your nightmare is, I'm gonna use it to peek you. You don't have a certain time frame or anything like it. Like if you never find out what the need is, do you have a time frame after that before you do it or just? Like... It's whenever I find out what the need or the problem is in their life, I'm peeking them. Plain and simple. Because it's going to look, you, you don't want to put a time frame on it because that time is going to look different for other people. She could be right now looking for a business opportunity. And then if yeah. I have in my mind, I'm going to wait, you know, a month or something oh, i'm saying like a lot of people on social media they never post anything negative about so you can never tell if they have a need or whatever so like i usually give maybe about a month a, a month building rapport and then i'll just hit them with the options open you know well, unless i right, see you, you don't even need to wait but that that's the thing so i'm gonna have breakfast or lunch with her i promise <laughs> you during that conversation i'm gonna identify what the need is why because i'm gonna ask the right questions but if 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 the need doesn't come up, you can all, all you got to do is find out what they do for a living. Once you find out what they do for a living, you can peek them with do you keep your options open to additional streams of income outside of what you do from nine to five. There's no time frame on that. I know what you do. Now I'm going to peek you. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't use a time thing because I'm moving. If they tell me the worst that can happen is they say, no, I'm not looking. No problem. If you're ever looking, let me know. Or if you know anybody, refer them to me. If you're planning a trip, let me book it. So, so and is that the same way for someone on social media that you've never met or that you won't um, get a chance to ever meet? You can just boom. If I know what you do for a living, I'm going to hit you up with, are you keeping your options open? Okay. All right. Because Outside I was like wondering, you because you know. Do. Landis says build rapport, expose and close. And yeah, I'm going in. All right, thank you. Because <clears throat> my thing is, 
on social media and it and it depends it might look different for everyone i'm not gonna do it with someone i just friended but if we've been friends on facebook for a while the rapport has been being built during the time we've been friends you're yeah, seeing what i posted i've seen what you posted i've liked some of your stuff you've liked some right there's people who say good morning to me every morning i haven't peeked them yet but we build in rapport because you say good morning you respond to my good morning post so no i'm not doing that to just a random stranger that i just friended you and then now i'm gonna say hey are you keeping your option no i'm not doing that i'm gonna be fr this is why i say remember the list that you're creating is a running list your list of prospects is a running list right and so anytime someone accepts your friend request or you uh, send a friend request or accept one from someone add those people to your list right so if i send out five friend, friend requests today and those people accept it i'm going to add them to my list right now, if my goal, like uh, Director Burke, is to peak 10 people a day, right? So in the morning, you're going to grab the next batch of 10 from your list, and you're going to peak them. But those people may have been added to your list six months ago. So now you've had all that time of, you know, building rapport with them on social media. They've been seeing what you do. You see what they do. So the people that you added to the list today you may not they may not come up in that next batch of 10 until several months yeah. from now yeah it won't be till like at least september yeah right. there's not that many people right so now you're they have all this time between now and september for you to build rapport with them by them seeing what you're posting you're seeing what they're posting you know you're liking their stuff you know yeah totally you're got it rapport. okay thank you yep uh michelle you know, this was great conversation, but it was just something that kind of um, caught caught my attention when um, Andy was referencing, you know, how long it should take. Because uh, it was interesting to me because, you know, just following the guideline that you just mentioned, you know, um, you know I always try to make the point of first exposure that I'm not first in the interaction, I'm not doing the exposure. Um, but it was just kind of humorous. We went out a few weeks ago. Um, you know, you know, I have different um, activities that I get involved that I've gotten involved in down here. But it was just kind of funny because several of us decided we were going to go out for dinner to, to do a wine bar one Friday evening. Um, there was going to be a new uh, person joining us, and so she actually got there first before a couple of the other new business partners arrived. And we're just sitting there chit chatting and everything. So I never brought up the business. As new business partners arrive, we go on talking, just you know, social conversation and so on. So, you know, it always kind of wraps back around to what does everybody do? That's I always it. make it the point I'm last because I want to hear what everybody does. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out in my mind, what else do I need to add to my typical intro? Right. Um, and it was hilarious because, you know, of course, I share what I do and everything. Um, there were two other ladies there that were new business partners. Um, they kind of chimed in very quickly because what surprised me was that when they were introduced themselves, they were talking about their nine to fives. And I'm looking like, Rookies. <laughs> but like you said, but at the same point, I'm like, that's fine because that means I get to share it. But it kind of worked out really well because then they chimed in as business partners as well. Well, it was funny because this past weekend, she wanted to do um, Epcot. So I'm like, okay, sure, I'll do Epcot with you. Um, the other one of the other ones ended up having to drop off at the last moment. But long story short, we're at Epcot, laughing, joking, having a great time. Go to have lunch, sitting there talking. She says, "Oh, by the way, I want to mention this before I forget. I want to join you all." So she's giving me a start date. She hasn't looked at anything, and she's already. I want to be able to join you all. She was I already talked with her boyfriend about it. The minute she said the same thing as minute, the minute she mentioned it to him, he was saying, "Oh, that would be perfect for you." So now we got that conversation going. So it's just a matter of, like I said, locking in her start date. But I just got kind of tickled. I didn't even have to peek her. Now, am I keeping her involved? Now that I'm starting to expose her to things? Absolutely. Right. But, you know, it's just that whole point of sometimes it's in front of you before you even get a chance or you, exactly. you really make that move. Um, exactly. But I just, like I said, I just love when I am able to get out and, like I said, when people start introducing themselves or start talking about anything in general. I always try to make it a point that I'm last. So therefore, now I can really go in for the gold. Right, right, <laughs> so right. That's my part of it, so. And, and that's good, Michelle. 
you got to have your story. What do you say when people ask you what you do? Because anytime you meet a stranger, two things come up. How do you make your money and how do you spend your time? So the moment you hear those two things, you're, you're able to peek them because you're going to share what you do. So you got to know what your story is. When people ask me what I do, I'm a travel business owner and I help position people who want to earn extra income on the money making side of the travel industry. Or I could say I'm a travel business owner and I help people who want to earn extra income start a home-based travel business. It's going to make people say, oh, tell me, it's, it's going to open up questions. And now you get to expose them. Very simple. That's why, again, I'm not putting a time limit on how long I'm going to build rapport. When it presents, I'm going to share. And a lot of times it will present itself organically. But I'm also, you know, I know how to finesse the question so that I can take the conversation where I want it to go. I might just say, so what are you doing with the kids this summer? Going anywhere? That's going to lead to an opportunity for me to peek them. Because if you're going anywhere, even if you're not, that's going to open up the door to at least the travel conversation. Right? Zara? Okay, I'm um, piggybacking off of Director Burke's uh, comments and questions. Um, I, I do a morning blitz with my team. And so um, I guess I had asked to be this lady's friend. So this, like just yesterday, I noticed um, her post um, where she's talking about she was in a car accident and, um, you know, she had a lot of misfortunes. And so like now she's not going to be able to work. Um, but I just friended, she just became my friend. So um, I wrote her name down and I'm not sure, like, I haven't even started a conversation with her. Uh, what, where I should begin with her. Can you give me... Um, um this is someone on Facebook that you sent a friend request to? Or Correct. She to, okay. And then she did a post about how she just had all of this misfortune. Right. So she okay. just maybe had a chance to start going through her Facebook or whatever, because she might've been busy. So anyway, she friended me. And then when I read her post, it was like, I want to, I want to, you know, say something. Oh, the other thing she said is that, She's going to be off of Facebook for a while because she got to she got to work things out. OK, so uh, I would reach out to her and, and you know, um, you know, send her some well wishes about I mean, again, without no reading exactly what she said happened specifically, but I would acknowledge that you saw that post. Um, you hope that everything's OK. You're keeping her, you know, in your prayers. Um, and you know just just kind of just leave it at that and see what the response is and then kind of take it from there you know but if you ask questions it op it'll carry the dialogue a little bit further where you can get some more information she may share with you um what exactly happened and go into more details about it she may bring up that you know now she's out of work because of whatever happened well if she says that that opens the door you know, to, well, are you open to looking at ways to make money from home since you're going to be out of work or something like that? But you got to you gotta ask questions um, and kind of keep that dialogue going. But my first would be, um, hey, saw your post. Um, I'm so sorry you're going through that, keeping you in prayer. Um, you know, is everything okay? You know, just, just to see if she opens up some more. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, it does. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Rochelle? Yeah, I had a quick question. Going back to that same friend list, mm -hmm. I have some, because we have plays that we have to repeat the people right away that same day. So sometimes they say, um, heart their heart their posts. Um, but you said not to do that, right? Pick them and say, kind of get to know them. You, you, gonna... Yeah, you want to like people's posts. That's part of building rapport with them. Liking and commenting on their posts is, is a way that we build rapport on social media. You no, know, that makes sense. But they were saying to do this the same day so that you can peek them the same same exact day. But I think you're like talking you saying, about boot camp stuff. I'm not going to go into that. Oh, a play, you know, a play that they call in boot camp is a play that they call in boot camp. I'm just oh, okay. sharing with you 
in general, again, when you get people who comment or friend, add them to your list because those are people you're going to eventually peak, but you're building rapport until they become that group of people that you grab from your list. So, that's the play that we were told to do. I'm not in a boot camp, but that's the play that we're told to do to just peak. So I guess. But um, oh. but you should already have even if 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 your coach called a play for you to peak a certain amount of people, you should have people that you've been building rapport with since you've been in the business that you have yeah. not peaked yet. You can't tell me you've peaked every single person on your friends list, right? Yeah, my, friend, my friend list wasn't so big, you know what I mean. So I did peak almost. Right. But Rochelle, haven't we constantly been saying keep adding new people to your friends list? I still do it. It's, it has, it's my weakness because, you know, I, I'm real picky who I add, but I'm continue to work on it. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. Right. Continue to work on that because you should constant, you know, even if it's just three or four people a day. You know, add them to your your friends list. You got to build up your friends list. You get your net. Listen, your network is your net worth. And if your network is small, you ain't gonna make no money. So take a look at how many people you have on your friends list. Thanks for the um videos. I've been watching and they've been helpful. Good, good. You're welcome, Rochelle. But everybody should be looking at their friends list. And it's not about, it, it's two parts. You don't wanna have 5,000 people and there's no engagement going on on your friends list. That's bad, right? Whereas if you had 1,000 people and there's a lot of engagement, that's good. But adding more people would make it even better. Right, so it's not about oh I got I maxed out I'm at five thousand but ain't nobody engaging your algorithm is you might as well not have any friends so having five thousand friends and there's no engagement is just as bad as having no friends it's about the engagement you got to build your community you got to build your network you want people to know you and and don't make your business your your page all about um, you know, join my business, join my business, join my business. It ha there has to be a balance of personal and business posts. It should not be all about join my business, join my business. I did a post. I have no idea. I'm going to find out, though. Um, let me share my screen for a second. Um, so one of the things I don't, oh, you know what? I don't think I did the good morning post it. Skylar, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> right, I started walking in the mornings, right? So, you know, I do my good morning post, right? Things that are on my mind, I, I do a post about it. Right, I created a, a story. Here I was shouting out uh, one of our directors who got recognized from ALG as a top booker. Right, here's my 91,000 post, right, but with a call to action. Me, about my walking, getting my walk in in the morning, right? So there's a balance of things. So it's not just all business. But it's about the engagement. And I always, even with these, I, I typically do a, a, a call to action. If you woke up grateful and thankful to see another day, say good morning. There's 36 comments. I'd say half of that. Because anytime someone comments, I respond back. Because that increases the algorithm. All right? So that's very important to do. So I want everybody to work on that. Um, make sure you're shouting out new business partners. Set that up on your calendar, your daily method of operation of what days you're going to shout out a new business partner that has joined our team. Um, 
and make sure you include that call to action with it. And if you don't have a lot of friends on your social media, start adding some friends. Very, very, very important. Any final questions before I let y'all go? All right, I need three people to share their biggest takeaway from today's session. Okay. Bye, Mr. Burt. Kim? Here. Sharing um, the post, the, calling out the, the new business partners. Okay. I've been looking for five minutes and I can't find one to share, but I'm going to find one and I'm going to share it. Yeah, just go on our Team Lux Platinum. Make sure you're taking it from Team Lux Platinum. That is a something that's understood within my organization. I can't speak for other uh, leaders. So don't go in like JP's person and share. No, don't do that. Audrey? Hi. Um, I just wanted to say what I've taken away from this, and this is my first time on your um, meeting, oh, um, was welcome. making my... Yes, hi. <laughs> Audrey, go ahead and introduce yourself first and let us okay. know who your upline director is. Hi, everybody. My name is Audrey. I'm from California, um, Victorville, California. My director is Desiree Benson, Desiree Benson. Desjuare. Um, uh -huh. Desjuare <laughs> uh, Benson. And I'm just, I was invited here by um, Zara and Gail. And I'm just want to tell you, I'm just really, truly enjoyed this. It's really a good training and a lot of things I wasn't aware of that I'm aware of now and that I'm going to put in place. And um, one thing about the friends, I don't have a lot of friends, so, but I'm going to make my list and start inviting some friends, more friends, and just try to get that whole thing going. I've just been in the business now two years, so I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm still learning. And um, I'm going to get there. I'm a goal builder now. So I'm, I'm awesome. going to continue to grow, though. Awesome. Well, and congratulations. Really You're welcome. Thank you so much. Congratulations Thank you. on being gold. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Break. Um, we do do this five days a week. The other three days, um, we have Tamika Piper, Michelle Proctor, and Shamika Long. They host it. Um, so always great information. So we encourage you to continue to plug in and uh, take the nuggets, take the notes and bring them to life. Right. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Anybody else want to share their takeaway from today's session? Hey, hey Zeta. Um, the peak interest cards. Those interest me a lot. That's you a like good that? idea. I like that. Yeah. 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 The peak so. interest cards are good. Do not substitute for the black cards you must 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 have your black cards and you should be utilizing those two right again black use the cards. black cards the planet marketing black cards use those when you have the time right if michelle's going like when i go to meet with this young lady for breakfast or lunch we're gonna have a conversation so i can leave her my black card she's gonna know who i am she's gonna remember that card and me um, but for the people you do not have time to have a, a good conversation with them and you may not see them again, that's when you want to use the peak interest cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Anybody else want to share their takeaway? Sandra? Um, just posting the new partners. So that's big for me. And the peak interest cards too, because like this morning, I was going through the Dunkin' Donuts drive through and I wish I had a peak interest card. Because there wasn't enough time, but right. sometimes people are just work in those jobs because they need the extra money. They exactly, exactly. Right. So both of those did me are great ideas, and I will go ahead and get my peak interest card and post new yes. partners. Yes, and I highly recommend ordering two boxes of of the peak interest business cards because then you can keep one box in your car which is what I do. And then I have one in the house where I, you know, fill up my purse, you know, and have them in different places, but definitely keep a box in your car. Valerie? Yes, I just want to mention, um, my old Facebook page got hacked over the weekend. So if I send anybody or anyone that I followed or what have you, uh, a message, it is legit, it's Valerie H. Beatty. Just to give you a heads up, I lost all my groups. I'm trying to figure it out here. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Lawanda, come on and introduce yourself if you're able to speak. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm Lawanda Allen. My director is Desiree Benson as well. And um, Zara uh, 
gave me the link to come on. And what I like, uh, well, you gave a lot of good nuggets, but the main one that I did, I didn't realize was um, the pink interest, pink peak interest card. That's the that's a runner for me. So I'm excited to get started on that one. Yeah. And that, also, I have like a lot of friends, so maybe I should start um, deleting some no. because I don't have a lot of traffic. No, don't 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 delete them unless you're maxed out. Um, because yeah. think about this: the friends that have been following you for a while. When they start seeing you hit those rank promotions and stuff, they're going to reach out to you and say, what is, what is it that you're doing? Okay. So if you delete them, they, they'll never see. They'll okay. never see. So what you want to do is do engagement posts to, to bring up your engagement to increase your algorithm. Like I said, every morning, get up, either go live or post a picture saying good morning, share something um, positive, maybe an affirmation or, you know, something, and then just do a call to action saying, you know, if you agree, say good morning, or if you're happy to see another day, say good morning, or, you know, there's so many things. I mean, you can go on, there, there's apps that you could download that have like the word of the day or motivational thing of the day or something like that, you know, you could do those things, all right? All right, I gotta go, I got a call coming on. And uh, I will see you all on next Tuesday, but come back tomorrow because Tamika Piper will be leading virtual coffee break with hey. Tamika. So everyone have, have a great day. Have a great day.